Sometimes when you're mad. These are, for the residents of Oregon, truly apocalyptic scenes. Wildfires have torn through this typically cool, damp region, destroying thousands of homes and claiming at least 10 lives, although state officials expect that number to rise. More than 10% of the state population has been forced to flee, with the flames threatening the state's biggest city, Portland. A city already reeling after months of sometimes fiery clashes between supporters of African Americans and opposing far-right groups. And while firefighters believe that at least one blaze was set deliberately, the state's governor points the blame squarely on another culprit, climate change. While our state reels from this horrific firestorm of dry weather, hot wind and drought conditions, this will not be a one-time event. Unfortunately, it is the bellwether of the future. We are feeling the ac acute impacts of climate change. We are seeing its devastating impacts in Oregon, on the West Coast, and frankly, throughout the entire world. With the biggest blaze, the August fire complex, less than one quarter contained, officials are warning of further peril. I escorted the Marion County Commissioners on a driving tour up the canyon on Highway 22. We went up through all of the cities up to Detroit and then back down. What we saw there was very treacherous roads, very treacherous conditions. Highway 22 itself was impassable in areas without assistance and not something that I would want to do again. And I would encourage others to stay out of the area as much as possible until we can make these roads safer. The state has called up the U.S. Marines for support, with so many Oregon firefighters pulled away to fight blazes in the neighboring states of Washington and California. And while the U.S. president has hit the campaign trail, he said little about the wildfires ravaging huge swathes of three western states, all led by opposition Democrats. But the wildfires have not escaped the notice of the international community. The consequences of our failure to get to grips with the climate emergency everywhere. Record heat waves, devastating wildfires, floods and droughts. And these challenges are only going to get worse. As this report emphasizes, because of past emissions, we are locked into further heating. There is no time to delay if we are to slow the trend and limit temperature rise to 1.5 degrees. Climate action is the only way to ensure a livable planet for these and future generations. The Republican Party is avowedly less green than the Democrats. But this latest outbreak of wildfires has left this iconic American beauty spot shrouded in smoke and smog may focus the minds of voters on both sides of the partisan divide. Laurie Laird, Arise News.